Thomas Kellein, the curator of the great exhibition here at the Corral Museum during the Biennale 56, war paintings. So these war paintings are very hard and uh, even very dramatic. Could you explain some of this art? So Jenny also has spent like more than 10 years to work on these so-called redacted paintings, which were originally secret uh, American government documents that were only released after uh, people asked for the release. They were very strongly censored, uh, and she selected this out of uh, 10,000 of documents, and lately created these oil canvas paintings uh, that are very dramatic and very gruesome. Printer? This and is a third screen painting. Yeah, and how did she? Do this. So she collected documents, uh, she read the documents, you yeah, all down, the stories of can, prisoners. Yeah, you can download these documents and if you look at the catalog we printed, each work um, is in the very end of the book there is a source where you can uh, get the uh, document number on the internet. And this is of course against the war, but only against the terrorism and torture. It's, uh, it's the so-called war of the Americans against uh, terror, which included uh, torture, which included waterboarding, which included uh, the death of many, many detainees uh, who had obviously no real chance to survive. And she painted and wrote the stories of a lot of these uh, prisoners and the detainees. And this seems so ugly to afford, because the paintings are all on white or pale blue, and the writing is mixed in the painting, and it is very difficult even to understand sometimes uh, what she writes down on the painting. Well, first of all, it is not her who does the writing. The writing comes from the detainees, the writing comes from the people who are in prison, and usually it is uh, outcries for help of these people who know that they will die. So Holzer is only uh, in selecting and enlarging documents. It is not her own handwriting. And she is very faithful uh, to the documents, so she has never altered any document. The only thing she does with a painting is, for instance, if you have the red square, that square was originally in black. But if you have all of a sudden blue, this is a choice that she wanted the blue in, in the painting, but the texts themselves are 100% accurate what she found on the internet. And then print, fingerprints uh, are unique, everybody has. So it is quite like an identity card, but through these prints, uh, this gave a very strong message, I think. Exactly. Uh, but the fingerprints, the handprints, everything also was redacted because the Americans do not want people to be identified as, as persons. As the Chinese do, especially for people that are condemned, they are only numbers. Right. But through the print, we can find an identification, give a name, or yeah. a, a person is behind this, not only a number yeah. or not only a terrorist. Correct. And which is the message you think well, she I wants? Well, uh, also wants to uh, make people aware that it is not uh, the war and also the war against terror are not about uh, just uh, justice or good and bad and uh, she wants really people to think about the fate of all these individuals. Thank you.